Uh, so I'm finally going out and getting walks now. Good morning. I am finally going out and getting walks. Miracle of miracles. I don't know um, what the difference is, except I had a kid start school yesterday. So that's probably it. It's getting me out of the house to take them to school. And then it's easy to just have my shoes on and start walking um, when I get home. So yay me. Other than that, I get, I, mm -hmm. Other than that, I don't know right now. Um, give me a minute. Other than that, let's see. I'm doing pretty good with my diet. And I don't say diet as the foul four letter word diet, but the beneficial description the things I'm eating diet. There's a difference. If you know, you know. I'm uh, tracking protein, fiber, and net carbs, and it's going really well. I mean, it's not going perfect, but I feel really good about it. I was watching Beatrice Caruso yesterday, and in her latest video, she was talking about how she was doing better with her diet and how um, she's feeling all fit and fabulous. And then she records herself doing workouts and uh, the camera does her dirty. This is her words. But that just comes as a part of recording your workouts. And that made me feel good because I have the same issue where I like, I feel amazing, I feel skinny, I feel fit, strong, and then I look in the mirror and the mirror says, fuck you, not quite kiddo, of course it does, well, let's see, what else? I took pictures of some of these absolutely gorgeous flowers yesterday. I really like these ones that seem to just be a funnel. And these really bright marigolds, I believe. This is kind of my favorite part of being out here. Because I don't have flowers like this. Everybody else does. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm trying to be careful not to step on other people's yards. Because that would bother me, I think, if I had a pretty yard and somebody's like, yeah, let me stand on it. Oh. I gotta be careful where I'm walking. I just about twisted my ankle. That would be probably the least beneficial thing to happen this morning. At any rate, what else? So food-wise, it's going pretty good. I'm keeping track of everything in a notebook or a journal, a notebook. And uh, I write down everything I eat, which is kind of a deterrent in itself when you have to write down that you ate a crumble bar that somebody brought in from um, Costco. And you have to write down that there was like 67 carbs in it and you're a net carbs and you're allowed 100 carbs for the entire day. Yeah. That slows you down from some of this stuff. I want to tell you what. Walking with the camera up like this is a workout in itself. Holy. What the heck. 
more beautiful flowers. One of the things I still need to do for this supportive weight loss program that I'm in is I need to make an appointment to go to the, there's a, a gym kind of thing run by the hospital that is associated with the program. And um, they offer like a training class of like, this is the kind of weight resistance you should do. And then they give you a ticket for six free visits. And while I already have a gym membership at uh, Planet Fitness, I feel like this would be a really great way to get me into strength training, which I know is important, especially at my age. Like I'm 80 years old or something, but no, I mean, weight training is important because it's gonna strengthen muscles. I don't know if it does anything with your bones, but it's gonna be beneficial and I need to do it. What else? So I think once I have like a week of walking under my belt, I'm gonna make that appointment. What else? Health-wise. I still am purposely doing things that I know are not good for me, like eating entire pints of Ben and Jerry's on Saturdays. It's a habit because my son and I usually get ice cream on Saturdays when we go do laundry. And so I'm doing it with him. I've purposely not taken that out of my diet because not the four letter diet, the things that I eat diet. I'm taking it out because, I'm not taking it out because I really enjoy it, number one. And number two, that almost feels like the straw that would break the camel's back, like chocolate. We got some construction going on back there, but back to the chocolate. So I am not a person that craves only sweets or only salty things. I have to have salt, I have to have sweet. It just depends on the time of the month, my mood, my trauma. <laughs> it depends on a lot of things what I'm actually going to consume. Just making sure I'm actually filming. Um, and so fiber one makes these chewy fiber bars with nine grams of, pro uh, not protein, nine grams of fiber, which is hard to get by the way. And it's like, even if I wasn't watching what I eat, it would be like ecstasy, this, this chocolate. It's so good and it's so guilt-free. Like there's 20 grams of carbs, net carbs. And that's not spectacular. But when you're just like, give me the chocolate, it's worth it, a thousand percent worth it. Chocolate. Now I want chocolate for breakfast. And speaking of chocolate for breakfast, I could do that. One of the things I need to try to get is 75 to 95 grams of protein per day. And while there are no limits on how many eggs you can eat, which is weird, like, do people just get all their protein from eggs? But anyway, I have chosen to go the protein shake route, which is delicious. And the brand I use is Premier Protein and they have this cafe latte flavor. It's got as much caffeine as a cup of coffee. Wake up juice. I like that. But also um, 
They have chocolate flavors. They have birthday cake flavor, like salted caramel, banana, that one's good, strawberry cookies and cream. So I could have whatever desserty thing I want for breakfast, but I like the caffeine. Oh, speaking of caffeine. Speaking of caffeine, I had my first cup of coffee ever without sugar yesterday of any kind. I had been using honey for my sugar source because I can drink coffee without cream, but I do not like, in my entire life I've said I can't drink it without sugar. I had it black yesterday and it was nasty, but it was caffeine. So I am displeased <laughs> that I stooped that low, but I also feel like if I drink it more often, the flavored coffees are gonna be less distasteful the more I get used to it. I'm displeased. Also, 8.4 miles, I'm almost at one, and that's where I quit. We still have dandelions. <laughs> um, yes, I firmly believe that dandelions should be spread far and wide because they are gorgeous. They are gorgeous, gorgeous flowers. I love yellow fields of dandelions. I've eaten dandelion before. It's fantastic. I mean, it's like salad. <laughs> So I mean, fantastic. But yeah, I kick dandelions. My husband picks them up and places them down neatly. I kick them. We must distribute the seeds. I'm doing my part, are you? I can tell we're getting into fall or approaching it because my eyes leaking, which is my response to the pollen out here. It's uh. It's a thing. I wonder what the audio is gonna be like on this. I hope it's not too awful. I would like good audio. Kinda like how this is going. Okay, I just hit a mile. I'm done, I'm going back home. I'm exhausted. I've alert, notified the dogs that I'm here. They are frantic. Trying to get me from coming to the close to those humans. They're humans. Whatever, I'm done. I'm all but also like thank you so much for coming with me on this this was fun i might have to make all my health updates just walks anyway 